Hey everybody, this is Colby Peters. So now that I've done a front yard tour, I thought it would be good to do a backyard tour and show you a few of the things that Bill and I have done. It's definitely a work in progress, but we did a lot this past summer that we're really proud of. So I thought I'd just show you. This is the back of our house. One thing we did a couple of years ago is paint the doors in the back of our house the same bright orange color as our front door. Bill and I both love mid-century modern style and we thought these bright pops of color in the back would emulate that a bit. I painted this mural this past summer. It's based on a print called the Sylvie Family Tree. Kate and Laurel Sylvie are an interior decorating business and they have all kinds of cute mid-century modern style prints and furniture. Here's their website in case you want to see more. One thing I did add that isn't in the original Sylvie Birds print is this little worm who, as you can see, looks startled and maybe a little bit worried about his proximity to the yellow bird. Like all my murals, I sketched this one on paper to scale where one foot equals one inch to make sure the positioning and composition looked right. And then I used chalk to sketch the birds onto the stone. And then I used exterior grade paints. We're going to turn around now so I can show you the river rock seating area we did in the back. I'm not quite sure what you call this thing. One person referred to it as a clamshell. Give me one moment while I just put this cushion back. So to make this seating area, I sketched it out on paper to make sure that the placement looked good in the yard. Just like in the front yard, we dug out the area about two to three inches deep, then lined it with weed barrier. Next, we put the seating back and then filled the remaining area with river rocks. Previously, it was just hanging out on the grass in the middle of the backyard, and I think this looks much nicer. I'll show you in this video is the project we spent the most time on this past summer, our labyrinth. Just so we're on the same page, a labyrinth is not what you might be thinking of if you love the movie The Labyrinth with David Bowie, which happens to be one of my favorites. What they showed in that movie was actually a maze, which is built for the purpose of confusing walkers and getting people lost. A labyrinth is actually just an open pattern of paths that are used um, for just walking or meditation purposes. I found this pattern called a nine petal vesica online. I wanted the whole thing to be 25 feet across, so I printed out pieces of it to scale at 25 inches and taped it all together. After studying it for a while, I figured out that the best way to create the big labyrinth would be to stake out nine spots equally in a small circle in the middle and then use those stakes to create nine large overlapping circles, which would make the nine petal vesica. This required some long buried trigonometry, which I will not go into at this time. For the stakes, I used bamboo skewers. I ended up needing about 150 to create the shape so that I could then string out the vesica using the stakes. Once I got everything staked and strung, I used spray paint to draw the lines. I then started digging out the pathways with a small shovel. As I created the pathways, I also installed stiff plastic edging to maintain the integrity of the pathways, and Bill put down weed barrier and pea gravel. So 
So now that I've told you how we made it, let's take a little walk around so you can see what it's like. That's it for our backyard. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to comment.